Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Out in Asher Photography. Yeah, it's been a little bit because, well, the weather has been absolutely dog crap as of lately because of not only all the cloudy skies, but we've had a lot of wildfire smoke traveling about 3,000 miles all the way from western Alberta over to here on Delmarva. And finally tonight, we have clear skies and no smoke. I got one shot at this because the weather forecast going forward doesn't look very good at all. So I got one shot at this. So you're thinking to yourself, well, it is getting closer towards the summer season, which means that nebula season is just around the corner. But we're making a little pit stop tonight because something spectacular has happened in the northern sky this past week and it involves a galaxy. Now what's special about this galaxy is it is the Pinwheel Galaxy. Yeah, it has been a very popular image galaxy located in Ursa Major, but something happened this past week that has all astrophotographers going bonkers pointing their telescopes and their rigs at this object. Reason being, a newly discovered supernova has been spotted in the pinwheel galaxy of Messier 101. Now, supernovas like this happen from time to time inside of galaxies. This one's extra special though because it is the closest and brightest one that we've seen in the past decade. Yeah, that's a big deal. Dubbed the name SN2023 IXF. Not sure where the name actually comes from or why it's named that way, but it's a newly discovered supernova in one of the outer spiral arms of the Pinwheel Galaxy, and it continues to get brighter. And I know you've seen plenty of photos, probably all over your newsfeed, about this. I am a little bit late to the game, I know, but when you've had smoky skies, it, uh, it was impossible to image, but luckily tonight, cold front has went through this morning. Skies look very promising. Might have to fight a little bit of some high thin cirrus clouds, but all in all, got a good shot at it tonight. And I got one shot at that, at that too, because later on this holiday weekend, this Memorial Day is coming up. Rain, the forecast is nothing but rain for at least five or six days and then the moon comes up to near full for going in towards next week. So I got one shot at this and let's take a stab at it for this brand newly discovered supernova located in the Pinwheel Galaxy. Now with the Pinwheel Galaxy, I have imaged this a couple of months ago back in the winter months of this wonderful face-on spiral galaxy but we're going to be comparing the differences between what I took back a couple of months ago and what we capture for tonight. Tackling the supernova tonight I will be using my trusty 102 millimeter Explorer Scientific triplet refractor on top of my iOptron GEM28 mount with a 6 inch pier I will be also shooting this galaxy with my ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro one-shot color camera. For auto guiding, I will be using an SV Bonnie 60 millimeter scope with a ZWO ASI 120 millimeter mini. And then collecting all the data tonight, I will be using my favorite tool, the ZWO ASI Air Plus.
Well, we're almost to nighttime here. We got the moon shining behind us along with Venus over just above the trees. Skies are looking quite promising right now. Have a little bit of some clouds over towards the areas of the south, but it can stay in the south for all we care because what we're going to be focusing on is this direction. Now that it's starting to get dark, we're going to get ready to do a little bit of some autofocus since I switched from the focal reducer to the just normal field flattener for this so I can get a nice clear view and pretty wide of the pinwheel galaxy. So we're going to be taking the autofocuser here and just cutting out the hard job. <laughs> Alright, we are just about in focus right here in just a few moments after it finds one more focal spot. Not too bad tonight with a 3000 peak. Definitely a lot better than what have been for all the smoke. Now we're in auto focused and we are set to go for this evening. My favorite kind of astronomy, lazy astronomy, because focusing a target is a pain so why not have technology do it for you. Alright now we're going to be doing some polar alignment getting aligned with the true celestial north pole. That's one major step we need to do before we even start imaging, because if not, if we're not polar aligned, might as well just go to bed because you need to be polar aligned for things like this. So let's get aligned to the true traditional north pole. Alrighty, we are polar aligned and not too shabby either. We're looking at it about 23 arc seconds. So that should be more than plenty before we start imaging M101. We're just waiting for it to get fully dark and await for the first image. Here's one of the captures from tonight and you look right there, there is our brand new Supernova SN2023 IXF. Looks beautiful in just one five minute shot of the Pinwheel Galaxy. The next morning. Well, it's the next morning and we got about seven hours worth of data last night. We did have a little bit of some light clouds that began to roll in as the sun rose, but that's okay. We got enough data to work off with. We're doing some flat frames at this time, doing some darks as well, some dark flats. And hard to believe that it's late May and I can still see my breath out here. <laughs> it's been a very weird spring to say the least, but Let's check out the results and do a comparison between what I captured back a couple months ago and to last night of the brand new Supernova.